horizon behind the old groin is observed higher than the rungs. The horizon is also observed higher than where the bottom of the old groin end marker structure is seen to meet the sea, higher than Mary's and Pippin's feet, and higher than Sam's and Frodo's waists. The observed horizon in this image is also beyond the calculated distance of the physical geometric horizon. This observation is not possible on a sphere or globe Earth with a radius of 6,371 kilometers or 3,959 miles. A massive shout out to Dr. John D and Karen B for doing the voiceover for this latest Black Swan video from Dr. John D. So the info box will have a link to his channel. Check him out and another massive shout out. Thanks and appreciation for the video. Black Swan Rising, a continuing investigation by Dr. John D. What is a black swan? A black swan is photographic or observational evidence that shows the horizon, the apparent line that separates Earth from sky, behind an object that is beyond the physical geometric horizon of the assumed Earth sphere. The distances involved are based on a mathematical geometric calculation that uses the radius of the sphere and the observer's height. The calculation is an accepted and proven mathematical formula. If you are not familiar with the black swan phenomenon, then the above description might sound vague and unclear. A brief visual representation will now follow that will hopefully put the above description into a more understandable manner. A man at a specific height above tide level standing on a sphere of a specific radius would observe the physical geometric horizon at a specific distance represented on the diagram by the red and yellow circle. The physical geometric horizon is the maximum distance that the sea and sky can be observed to meet. A full explanation of the mathematical and optical principles of the black swan phenomenon were presented in the previous video, so it will not be covered here. No other horizon, imaginary or otherwise, can be observed past the line of the physical geometric horizon represented by the red and yellow circle. These observations were carried out between Worthing Pier and Sea Lane Cafe Buoy. The distance, according to Google Earth, is 3.7 kilometers or 2.3 miles. The height of Cameron Center ranged from approximately 70 centimeters to 60 centimeters above tide level. For the purpose of the observation, the higher value of 70 centimeters above tide level will be used. The camera used was a Nikon P900. Where is the physical geometric horizon relative to the observer? Based on the Earth being a globe or sphere with a radius of 6,371 kilometers or 3,959 miles, the physical geometric horizon for the observer at an eye height of 0.7 meters will be 3 kilometers or 1.9 miles. Based on Earth being a sphere of a known radius, the physical geometric horizon is 3 kilometers or 1.9 miles from the observer. The physical geometric horizon is here, represented by the yellow and red dot. What will not be observed past the physical geometric horizon in this observation? No other horizon, imaginary or otherwise, can be observed past the physical geometric horizon, that is, 3 kilometers or 1.9 miles from the observer. If the Earth is a globe with a radius of 6,371 kilometers or 3,959 miles, then the horizon cannot be seen past this point. Viewing from Worthing Pier to Sea Lane Cafe Buoy. Date, 26th of May, 2020. Day, Tuesday. Time, 7.18 a.m. to 9.07 a.m. Location, Worthing Pier, Low Tide. Worthing Pier, Aerial View from Google Earth. Sea Lane Cafe, Worthing. Old Groin Breakwater, Rocky Groin Breakwater, Sea Lane Cafe in the distance on the shore. And from the other direction, you can see the buoy and the end of Old Groin Breakwater. 
Look at the buoy. What kind of buoy is it? This is a cardinal marker buoy. The two black downward pointing arrows warn navigators to stay south a cardinal direction of the buoy due to the old groin breakwater, which when submerged poses a threat to boats. Weather information Tuesday, 26th of May, 2020. Tide data, Tuesday, 26th of May, 2020. Low tide on Tuesday morning was at 8.03 a.m. The observations were made between approximately 7.12 a.m. and 9.07 a.m. The tide level above lowest astronomical tide at 7.18 a.m. was approximately 1.1 meters. The tide level above lowest astronomical tide at 9.07 a.m was approximately 1.28 meters. During the observation, the tide gently dropped to the lowest level for the morning and then turned and gently rose as can be seen in the video footage. What do the real life observations show? Please watch or scan through the following recorded observations. Links are in the description. Please do not just believe the screenshots in this presentation. Check these videos and ensure that they match what is being shown. What was observed? From observing the video footage, it can be stated A. No inferior mirage of the buoy was observable. B. No superior mirage of the buoy was observable. C. The tide is gently going out, turning and coming in. The tide is gentle before and after it turns due to the very shallow profile of Worthing Beach at that distance from the shore. D. The yellow color of the buoy is bright. E. The image of the buoy is clear and defined. There is very limited distortion. F. In the final video, distortion is starting to be observed compared to the earlier videos. How the video footage will be presented. 1. Screenshots from the videos are presented in a time linear order to show what was observed as time progressed from 7.18 a.m. to 9.07 a.m. 2. The screenshots taken were those that were clear and displayed the buoy in a reasonably central position within the frame and in a relatively upright position. 3. The screenshot was directly copied and pasted into a PowerPoint slide. 4. The size of the screenshot has not been changed in any way. No vertical or horizontal stretching of the image has occurred. 5. No image manipulation in terms of brightness, contrast, etc. has taken place. 6. Please validate what has been stated here by double-checking the actual video footage. Time. 7.19 a.m. Is the horizon behind the buoy? No image manipulation. Time, 7.31 a.m. Is the horizon behind the buoy? Time, 7.42 a.m. Time, 7.52 a.m. Time, 8.14 a.m. Is the horizon behind the buoy? Time, 8.30 a.m. Is the horizon behind the buoy? Time, 8.46 a.m. Is the horizon behind the buoy? Time, 8.55 a.m. Is the horizon behind the buoy? Analysis of the observations. At 7.19 a.m., the horizon could not be seen behind the buoy. Over the course of the observations, the horizon was observed to be visible behind the buoy. The distance the horizon was observed behind the buoy increased with time. Note. As the distance that can be seen behind the buoy increases, it can be perceived or imagined that the vertical height of the sea is increasing. It is actually the sea at a further distance that is being observed. This video footage shows that over the course of 1 hour and 40 minutes, the horizon became visible behind the buoy and proceeded to be observed further and further behind the buoy. The physical geometric horizon is here. It is 3 kilometers or 1.9 miles from the observer.
This series of observations shows the observed horizon becoming increasingly visible further and further behind the buoy. The observed horizon is visible beyond the physical geometric horizon that would block line of sight on a sphere or globe. These observations would not be possible on a sphere or globe Earth with a radius of 6,371 kilometers or 3,959 miles. No sea would be visible behind the buoy. Other interesting observations. Another object of interest is the old groin end marker that is near the buoy. The old groin end marker in the past probably had a pole and cage on it as shown in this diagram. Two videos were taken of the old groin in order to gain a better understanding of the structure. The links are in the description. How the video footage will be presented. 1. A screenshot has been taken of the old groin end marker structure from each of the six videos and are presented in a time linear order to show what was observed as time progressed from 7.18 a.m. to 9.07 a.m. Two. The screenshots taken were those that were clear and displayed the old groin end marker structure in a reasonably central position. 3. The screenshot was directly copied and pasted into a PowerPoint slide. 4. The size of the screenshot has not been changed in any way. No vertical or horizontal stretching of the image has occurred. 5. No image manipulation in terms of brightness, contrast, etc. has taken place. 6. Please validate what has been stated here by double checking the actual video footage. Time, 7.22 a.m. Is the horizon behind the old groin end marker structure? 7.44 a.m. Is the horizon behind the old groin end marker structure? 8.11 a.m. 8.25 a.m. 8.44 a.m. Is the horizon behind the old groin end marker structure? 8.53 a.m. Is the horizon behind the old groin end marker structure? This series of observations shows the observed horizon becoming increasingly visible further and further behind the old groin end marker structure. The observed horizon is visible beyond the physical geometric horizon that would block line of sight on a sphere or globe. These observations would not be possible on a sphere or globe Earth with a radius of 6,371 kilometers, 3,959 miles. No sea would be visible beyond the structure. To give this very dry presentation a human touch, we now come to the final tale. I was fortunate enough to observe four brave hobbits on a bit of an adventure. Pippin, Mary, Frodo, and Sam. And they were on a journey to the end marker, or there and back again. In order to understand the following analysis, please do watch the video of An Unexpected Journey, Video 5. The link is in the description. Leading up to the end marker along the old groin is a series of rungs. The rungs are slightly raised relative to the flattish surface of the old groin leading up to them. The series of rungs leading up to the end marker. Between each rung, there is a submerged concrete walkway. In the image shown, the seaweed in the white box is anchored to the submerged walkway. It can be observed that the submerged concrete walkway is at a lower level than the top of the rungs, approximately one plus foot. For the sake of accurate comparison, there was approximately a six centimeter difference in tide level between the morning observation and the old groin filmed in the evening. Tide level 1.08 meters on the left and tide level 1.14 meters on the right. The rungs of the old groin are physically higher than the present tide level and the horizon behind the old groin is observed higher than the rungs. The horizon is also observed higher than where the bottom of the old groin end marker structure is seen to meet the sea, 
higher than Mary's and Pippin's feet and higher than Sam's and Frodo's waists. The observed horizon in this image is also beyond the calculated distance of the physical geometric horizon. This observation is not possible on a sphere or globe Earth with a radius of 6,371 kilometers or 3,959 miles. The observed horizon is beyond the physical geometric horizon and behind the old groin. This presentation has 1. Illustrated by means of a diagram the physical geometric horizon. 2. Documented the formation and development of a black swan. 3. Explained why observing the horizon further and further behind the buoy and old groin end marker structure is not possible on a sphere or globe Earth with a radius of 6,371 kilometers or 3,959 miles. My sincere thanks to Karen B. for her technical support in the production and dedicated to those that keep asking questions and discussing.